How valuable can a 1998 penny be? Do they have errors? Have you heard about 1998 close AM pennies? We'll talk about these rare pennies worth good money in this video, and most likely you'll be shocked what good money they can bring. Hey YouTubers, this is JNB, and welcome to our JB Coins family. We're all about coins and currency, we have new videos every day, and are here to help you either start your new collection, expand an existing one, or find that one valuable coin that can change your life. This video is about super rare pennies. Newer pennies worth thousands. Pennies with very valuable errors, like close AM pennies, and some other coins that you can find in your change. So we will start with close AM pennies and finish off with super rare pennies that you can find in your change. Now the 1998 close AM pennies apply to proof struck coins struck at the San Francisco Mint that year. The San Francisco Mint struck only 2 million pennies this year, one of the lowest mintages for proof coins, and they will bear an S mint mark and have a shiny finish. It's very easy to distinguish them from a regular business strike coin. We see every day in our change. It is also very easy to distinguish a close AM or wide AM penny. An important fact here, from 1994 to 2008, proof Lincoln cents display the letters AM of America separated from each other or the wide AM style reverse. Anything different is considered a variety or a mint error. You can see in this picture a comparison between these two. The picture is courtesy of PCGS. So proof coins struck in 1998 should have a wide AM reverse. However, some proof pennies were struck with the reverse intended for business strike pennies accidentally. Nobody knows how many were struck this way, but people are still finding them in proof sets. They are highly collectible and very valuable. How valuable? Well, in grade proof 69, this coin sold at Heritage Auctions for $360, which is a lot for a proof coin. But wait, in Proof 70, this coin sold for $7,475. How cool is that? So, we think we got your attention now. Obviously, you need to check proof sets from 1998 if you wish to find one. And now, we will move on to coins worth also amazing money, not only that you can find in your change, but they all were actually found in change. Also, it will be a good lesson for error coins terminology. So the first one is a 1998 penny, two Planchet bonded pair, graded MS66, and this great error sold for $2,040. The next one is a 1998 penny struck on a 1997 dime. How cool is that? It's graded MS65 and it's sold at Heritage Auctions for $2,180. And by the way, 
many were struck with this error. So pay attention to your change. The next coin is also super cool. It is a 1998 penny struck on bonded planchets. It is graded MS65 and it's sold for $1,920. Another cool penny is a 1998 overstruck on a 1998p dime. Double denomination. We love double denomination coins. Haven't found one yet, but we're looking. This penny sold at Heritage Auctions for $1,410. And the last one is a 1998 penny double struck and with the obverse die cap. How cool is this error? It sold for $940. It's amazing how great money some of them are bringing. Always check your change and always look at both sides of the coin. We recently did a video about wide AM pennies, regular business struck pennies. A very comprehensive video. If you haven't watched it yet, it's linked in the left corner of this one. And we have a question for you. Do you have any proof at close AM pennies? Let us know in the comment section below. We do read all your comments. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.